you ever wonder what it what is the real cost of clutter and how it affects you thriving in your life what's it all about yogi Yogi? It's all about how to thrive in retirement. I would like to start with famous quote by Will Rogers. Too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. According to the expert, 200 million people in the US alone live in cluttered homes. Living in a healthy home that is loaded with clutter is a bit of an absurdity. <laughs> North American and Western Europe account for 60% of private consumption spending, but only represent a little over one-tenth of the world's population. Yes, and according to UK Finance, there were 1.6 billion debit and credit card transactions in the UK in April 2021, 76% more than the April 2020. Wow. Obviously, clutter has become a huge problem in today's 21st century overspending and instant gratification society. Yes, decluttering experts are coming out of the woodworks. Television shows are exposing nightmare clients. <laughs> What is the true cost of, cost of all of this stuff? What financial burden are we placing on ourselves and our family and our future? Absolutely. You see, it is our responsibility to deal with this crisis and clean up our acts. But, but first, mm. we need to understand how it manifests. Yes. You see, after all, we've been brainwashed by marketing geniuses. Today, you can't go anywhere or use any digital device without being marketed to. It has an incredible toxic and overwhelming effects that clutter creates, such as anxiety, yes. guilt, depression, illness, food issues, relationship issues and health hazards, not to mention yeah. precious time searching for lost items and wasted money buying duplicate items. It's true, clutter can create health problems by allowing more dust, dirt and debris to accumulate. However, clutter represents much more than the physical, tangible stuff. The reality is you are paying good money to keep the clutter. Hmm. That's the real cost of clutter. The cost of something doesn't just stop when you take it home. That's right. For example, do you pay rent on a storage unit mm. or buy a bigger house to hold your stuff? <laughs> For most folks, their second most expensive purchase is car that they can't park in the garage. Is your garage full of stuff you spend good but less money on? <laughs> but I paid for money for that. Most people would say that but they have not examined how much more it costs to keep it. The real cost of clutter isn't how much money you spent on the item. Mm. It is the complaint, the blame, annoyance and overwhelm that occur when, they, when the things are in your way. That's right. Material things have emotional costs too. Mm. Not just when you notice that something is in the way or broken items that reminded you of bad times or re relationships cause stress as do the pieces of projects you have never completed every time you don't uh, don't follow through with something you meant to do you experience stress that's right that's right little things annoy us every day for example broom falls out of the closet milk when we run out of milk when we are making tea or to find uh, you know always looking for that important paper when you start to notice what's causing you annoyance you can be begin to simplify your life yes. and regain some energy right i mean one way to handle an annoyance is to ignore it 
when you do that chances are that it will happen again this annoyance is a clutter eliminate the clutter and the annoyance will go away remember keep only things that bring you joy and is useful let go of anything that makes you feel guilty when you look at it recycle pay it forward or donate items so that you can really use to to those who can really use it yeah simplify our lives is the key less is more as we release the old energy we open up to and create the space for amazing new opportunity and possibilities it's true mm -hmm. we can't see the energy of clutter but we have all felt it yes don't wait until you sell something or move give yourself the joyful feeling now that's right that's right see the art of feng shui has brought awareness to our western culture it teaches the importance of allowing energy to move better through a simplicity of a space in many cultures sweeping away negative energy at the start of each year that's right and decluttering are part of a societal norm yeah we are brought up as hindus and so every new year diwali time we clear out our homes from our old stuff like a spring cleaning some even give it a new paint <laughs> and this is because the heavy energy of unwanted things holds us back and prevents us from our true potential we all know the amazing feeling of clearing out and cleaning your car right before you sell it that's right <laughs> In England we have several organizations that pick up your unwanted goods free of charge from your doorsteps yeah therefore we should have no more excuses to hang on to unused things eBay and Craigslist are obvious choices along with local marketplaces on the social media that's right make use of it that's right we'll also provide you with some extra cash <laughs> another great option is to use recycle places in every area. So if you have any other ideas I uh, want to add to the list then please comment on 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 the on below and uh, we would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. If you find our content useful then please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. See you in the next video. video.